Invaders must pay for the murders and destruction. Volodymyr Zelensky signed the law on nationalization of Russian property in Ukraine. Now the state can confiscate movable and immovable property of the Russian Federation and its residents. Funds, deposits in banks, securities, corporate rights and other assets registered in Ukraine without any compensation for their value. The president also promised the Russian propagandists will pay for the victims of the war with money. Ви будете відповідати так само, як і всі ті, хто накаже скидати бомби на мирних людей. Ми знайдемо всю власність пропагандистів та пов'язаних з ними осіб. Ми зробимо все, щоб конфіскували її всюди, де б вона не була. Zelensky highlighted, without people who have been telling Russians lies about Ukraine for years, war crimes would not have been possible. A lesson in humanity for Russians. While the occupiers repeatedly break agreements on a humanitarian corridor to the occupied Mariupol, the head of Mykolaiv Regional Military Administration, Vitaly Kim, decided to give green corridor for invaders who don't want to fight. I would like to to the Russian occupants. I ate two weeks Глаза начали сужаться, говорят, сало поел, вроде опять желание возникло определенное. Так вот, шанс даем, в любом случае, знаем, стоят они там на границе Херсона и Николаевской области, разговаривают с нашими, в чем проблема у русских-то. Они нападать не хотят, они считают, что их обманули, что они сказали учения, там, ну, каждый почти говорит. Но и назад вернуться не могут, потому что сказали, что те, с той стороны Херсона, будут их расстреливать при отступлении. Vitaly Kim said that tomorrow he will try to organize a hotline for the soldiers to find out where to call, where to come if you want to stay alive and not return to Russia to go to prison. The mayor of Mykolaiv pointed out that there can be no green corridor for artillery men, missile launchers and all those who shoot at the civilian population. Civilian Ukrainians are ready to do anything to stay away from the Russians who came to liberate them. For four days the residents have been fleeing the besieged city of Irpin near Kyiv. As of now, 2,000 people have left. Some of them have been hiding in basements for 12 days. Therefore, even destroyed bridges and icy water can't stop them. They all know that the Russians can easily forget about the Green Corridor and start shelling at any moment. The day before, eight people died during evacuation like this. Odessa Zoo has sheltered more than 300 pets. City residents who are being evacuated have the opportunity to leave their animals that need special care under the supervision of specialists. Ihor Belyakov, zoo director, said that unlike other Ukrainian zoos, Odessa Zoo receives food deliveries, they have water storage in case of problems with water supply, the power supply is okay for now. Сегодня восьмой день, как мы принимаем животных. Мы приняли больше 300 экземпляров самых разных. Это и черепахи, хамелеоны, змеи, игуаны, попугаи и другие птицы, много грызунов, кролики, шиншиллы и так далее. The zoo staff continues to work, taking care of animals' well-being, despite the fact that for several days the Russians have been preparing to attack Odessa and land there. Today, a Russian warship has fired in the direction of the city to intimidate the civilians. Millions of people around the world have taken to the streets and squares to force their governments to close skies over Ukraine. No-fly zone in Ukraine. A no-fly zone. We are asking for the no-fly zone. 74% of Americans, 100% of Ukrainians, and a vast majority of Poles Germans, French and British support Ukraine and are in favor of closing the skies over it right now. Ukrainian nuclear plants are under attack from the air. This is a clear and present danger to all of the European Union. NATO governments, close the sky now and save the lives of thousands of civilians today.